Welcome to the Tech Blog Writer Podcast, your guide to future tech trends and innovation in a language you understand. Now, over to your host, Neil Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Blog Rider podcast and a big warm welcome to new listeners that have found us on Pandora Radio. You can now listen to this podcast on over 30 different platforms, but I am curious, where do you all listen to this podcast? Please, if you do have a few moments, send me a quick tweet at Neil C. Hughes, get me on Instagram, LinkedIn, or just email me directly, techblogwriter at outlook.com. I'm kind of curious where you all found me and how you listen to the show every day and where in the world you are as well. But for today's show, I want to learn more about a company called Toluna. Now, Toluna provides customer insights designed to empower success in today's on-demand global economy. But what really interests me is that it's powered by the perfect fusion of technology, expertise and the largest global community of influencers at the ready. And the results of that enable Toluna to deliver rich, reliable and real-time insights to individuals and companies of all sizes. Now, just to put everything that I've just said into perspective, as that leading provider of on-demand digital consumer insights, Toluna works with huge brands such as Kraft, CNN, Coca-Cola and Sony and so many more. Got your attention, right? Okay, so buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to Washington, D.C. so we can speak with Phil Ahad, EVP and Head of Products and Strategy at Toluna. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Phil Ahad. I head up um, products and strategy for ITWP globally. Uh, within ITWP, we have a bunch of brands and products and business lines. Um, one of the major ones is a company called Toluna, and the other one is called Harris Interactive. And as mentioned, um, I head up the, the product and, and the strategy group for, for the company. Now, Toluna is known as a leading provider of on-demand digital consumer insights. And you guys work with some leading brands out there, including Kraft, CNN, Coca-Cola and Sony. But can you share a use case just to help listeners understand how you're helping some of the world's biggest brands here? Yeah. Um, You know, historically, at our inception, you know, the company was built to just connect brands, agencies, market research uh, um, companies around the world with consumers to answer uh, pressing questions and needs to understand, you know, how concepts would perform in the market to understand, you know, buyer intention, um, sentiments around products and, and service lines. Um, over the last, I call it five years, we've transitioned from just providing people, you know, providing cost, um, are these companies with just people to answer the questions to actually provide them technology to produce the insights in a much faster way, in an automated way. Um, and that's really kind of the, the the benefit and the niche that we have in the market is that we're delivering consumer intention, consumer insights in real time. And we're empowering these type of clients to either do it themselves or to leverage our service and research consulting teams to do it for them. But again, with all that mindset of it being in real time, because as you know, I mean, these clients, you know, these clients, clients like they're consumers, they move so quickly today. And if you're going to wait days or weeks or even months for research and data to come back on a concept or a new product launch or an ad campaign, you've probably missed an opportunity or you've missed the boat. So I've got to ask then, how does the platform work and how can brands have the ability to access the audiences, surveys and communities all on demand and receive all those research needs? Yeah, so I'm, I'm you know, not, not sure how familiar you or your audience is on the research pack, so I'll just give a quick two minutes. So. Um, the technology as a whole basically takes internal tools that we've been using for you know for some time now, packaging it up in the most easy to use way for you know comp- um, you know people within the marketing teams or product teams or insights teams at one of these large CPGs or one of these large brands. Um, and the real difference from us or even in the past is your real IP in this space wasn't necessarily a technology platform. It was actually the research methodology. And that's pretty important because you have the best technology in the world, the best platform in the world, and even the best panelists and consumers to answer the questions. But if the methodology, like the way you're answering the questions or the way you're building the composition of these people to take the study is flawed, your data is going to be poor. Like it's it's bad data in, bad data out, right? 
Um, and that's kind of what has evolved quickly in the world of market research today is that the technology now is integrated with the research methodology and we're automating in a way so that even if you don't have a ton of research expertise, you can still do high quality research through, through using technology like this. And within our platform, it being end to end, you know, you know, there's multiple different ways to procure insights, whether it be, you know, asking a question, having a conversation with, with, with people, tracking their mobile consumption and their behavioral data, um, appending multiple different data sources like through social scraping and social listening. And our technology stack allows you to do all of that in one single platform. So it encompasses surveys and communities and, and all those research needs. So I also read that Taluna recently partnered with Centrifuge. So what's that? Can you tell me more about that partnership and what it'll bring to you guys at Taluna? Yeah, we're we're always looking to to partner with organizations or you know, um, you know, educational based uh, companies just to give them access to to this type of information and data. I mean, Centrifuge focuses on on startups and, and incubators, so. It's a natural fit for us. These these are companies who are tight on budgets. They're really lean. They're they're really stretched. But they need data probably more so than anyone, right? Because they're they're probably building something from scratch or building something very new. Um, so for us, these type of partnerships work really well. Um, you know, obviously we've got a relationship with with the people at Centrifuge. Um, we've given their members access to our platform and access to to some research at a at a, at a decent rate, so it allows them to do some work right now. And then you know. If it's something interesting to us, if there is a if there's a company that's within this 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 uh, environment that could be you know could potentially help us from a technology standpoint or a research standpoint, that's something we could even um, you know build a stronger partnership with and, and address it further. Now we do get to talk to a lot of startup founders on this daily tech podcast, and also feature a lot of startup stories too. So for those people listening, I mean, how will this partnership help tech startups and entrepreneurs? Yeah, I think it's it's obviously a data driven world, and there is a ton of data out there. Um, and us being a provider of data and, and, and insights, um, I think, you know, at getting high quality data and actionable data today is still, you know, rather expensive. Um, there are so many companies out there that are that are doing research and and doing product planning or, or marketing launches that are still kind of doing it based on hunch, right? And I think that's that's a little. You know, crazy to me, considering just how accessible data is, and I think the the challenge for a lot of people is not necessarily the price point of the data, but is is understanding that data in a quick and fast way and easily digesting that data so that you can act upon that data. Um, and what we're doing with you know startups or just anyone in, in in that space today is you know packaging up the data so that they can be easily digestible so that you can act on insights rather than you know mining through a million specific data points. And then obviously, of course, making it fast and as most cost effective as possible. So as mentioned within the Centrifuge community, um, you know, a lot of these startups are tight on budget. And in my opinion, these are the companies that need data the most because, again, they're building from scratch and, and, and they're starting from, from, from zero to something. Um, so the more that we can help them kind of accelerate their progress and their growth, then eventually they're going to have larger budgets to reinvest into into technology and into research. And hopefully by that initial partnership that we set up with them, they'll come back to, to our group. Now, many business leaders listening would have heard of and probably used services such as SurveyMonkey in the past. So I'm uh, sorry to ask this, but I mean, what makes Taluna different from all those other kind of solutions? What is it that makes you guys stand out? You know, a SurveyMonkey is, was really like the first kind of like DIY, you know, I call research tool in, in the space. And they, they kind of open the door on the opportunity to, I don't say commoditize research, but give, you know, a simple tool to just about anyone to ask a question and collect some insights and then, you know, you know, plan and build off of that, that, that point of data, that point of insights. Um, today in the space, if you're just like a survey tool, and I'm not trying to like, you know, generalize survey monkey because it's obviously it's a very powerful tool. But if you're just a survey tool, um, then you're kind of and you are a commodity because there are 20 really good survey tools that allow you to ask multiple different questions from from a wide source of uh, of people, right? The difference between us and a survey monkey is although we have that technology platform and that survey tool that underlines everything we do. We package on top of it sophisticated research methodology, and then we've integrated with 22 plus million consumers in 68 different markets through our panel and our network of, of consumers. And all of that is in a seamless package. So if you want to reach 
consumers that you have no access to, then you'd have to go through a survey monkey type of tool and then contact a panel company like Ataluna, set up that integration. You're basically buying from two different points and trying to merge it all together. When you're buying from a Taluna, we have the technology underpinning that panel asset. And then we have the research that's automated and integrated into our panel. And we have the direct access to those people. So you're kind of doing everything in one single ecosystem um, and, and system. And as a result of that, you're saving costs because you know you don't have to pay someone else a margin on top of that too. And then too, since it's all in one system, it's, it's much faster than seamless. So technology is right at the heart of everything that you do and it underpins everything that you do. But for people listening and hearing about you guys for the first time, can you maybe talk about how you're actually leveraging emerging technology or, or technology as a whole to evolve with this digital landscape that's continuously changing? So in our space today, it's, it's, getting, it's getting harder and harder to get people to answer questions or longer surveys, right? It's an, it's an on-demand world, right? Um, it's an um, you know incentive immediate incentive driven world today you know so where you know in the past if you want to launch a survey you'd call someone or send them a piece of paper and they you know send you back the responses and that's how you'd get insights and you know we that obviously shifted to online surveys and you know even some online surveys today are like 20 30 minutes an hour long and those are getting really difficult to to do with the advancements of you know digital tracking, uh, mobile tracking, um, and um, you know DMP data and just multiple different data sources, what we're able to do now is through the use of of, of, of these different data sources is infer a lot of data, uh, build segmentations of, of, of populations, and reach the right people at the right time because we've been able to profile and identify and then target, and that's really been the biggest evolution in in research today is you know, not having to ask a person 50 specific profiling or behavioral questions to then lead up to the, this is the right person now I want to talk to about my specific business needs, right? You know, now we're moving into a world where I already know so much. Like I know, you know, this person has an iPhone. I know this person went on Facebook 10 times in the last you know week or two because we're digitally tracking this person. Um, now, let me just ask some specific why questions based on previous behavior and that's cutting down the effort for our panelists to provide the insights it's also significantly increasing the quality of the data in the industry because one of the one of the biggest hits on quality today is asking someone to recall something they did and they're not trying to just you know give you the wrong answer on purpose recall as a as as, as a whole is difficult for for people to respond to um, so we're kind of eliminating that um, and then we're only asking people, you know, the what behind the why. Now, I'm sure you get a lot of different businesses coming to you and asking for your help. And I'm curious, are there any trends around the kind of problems that your customers are coming and, ask, and asking for your help with? Yeah, today, it's, um, it's all about, you know, speed. Um, you know, in most cases, like social media could tell you, you know, what's going to happen. Um, so, you know, getting the insights in a way that's, uh, well, that's obviously in real time as, as real time as possible. And then also not burying the client, um, and that decision maker with so many different data points that you actually get no data points. Right. So in, in our world today, we could easily send, you know, you could, you could send us a five question survey, right. But we could provide you another million data points on those people just because of how much information we've been collecting and we've have collected from, from them. Um, so the biggest challenges is one, you know, getting the work done, getting the questions answered in, in, in the fastest way possible at the highest quality of, of, of data as possible. But then also being able to make sense of that data um, immediately, right? So for us in, in, in our world where we're providing insights, it's not just like collecting the data in real time, but it's also collecting the data and making sense of that data and turning it into actionable insights in real time. And that's not just the biggest problem that we're solving for within the industry today, but that's, that's going to be a bigger problem going forward as there are more and more data sources are being kind of bumped into this whole consumer insights program. So what's next for Taluna then? Is there anything else that you can share with us about the road ahead? You know, right now, my, my main focus is trying to get, get through 2019 um, and, you know, you know keep, keep on our growth path, which has been a significant growth. Um, I think the world of market research and especially the world of market research technology is at a massive transformational point. Uh, we've, you know, the, the changes that have happened in the last five years in this industry have been have been significant. There's a ton of niche players coming into the space, really focusing on like one aspect of the research and, and data collection process. 
what's next for us is is to continue to evolve this this end to end platform to be able to really push the elements of automation in our work. Um, you know, having a DIY platform is just is just one thing. I mean, even though it's we're giving the the our customers access to do the work themselves, they still have to do a lot of work, and that's a huge effort on them. And in some cases, it's inefficient. So how we can leverage more automation through that process, whether it be through the research methodology, whether it be to the aggregating of data, the visualiza- visualization of the data, um, is really kind of our, our focus for, for the short-term future and, and, and possibly long-term. And for anyone else listening that just wants to find out a little bit more information or keep up to speed with any developments at Taluna, what's the best way of doing that and finding you online and equally contacting a member of your team if they do have any additional questions? Yeah, you, anyone can link uh, can look me up on, on LinkedIn just by searching my name, Phil Ahad is the last name, A-H-A-D. Um, you can also visit uh, a multitude of our, our, our sites. Uh, Taluna-group.com is our, is our corporate Taluna site. And then Taluna Insights, one word, um, is our product platform site. And you can find out more information about the company and the, and the solutions and services that we offer. Well, I think if we to look back just a few years at our primitive days of solely relying on just SurveyMonkey, I think you see just how far we've come, especially when I look now at what you're doing at Taluna and how you've developed this perfect fusion of technology expertise and the largest global community of influencers all at the ready for businesses to leverage. I think it's fantastic. So a big thank you for coming on and joining me on the show today. Yeah, thank you so much, Neil. As consumers adapt to this on-demand economy, and have increasingly high expectations of brands and businesses that they interact with. Taluna focuses on providing consumer insights with an end-to-end automated solution. Now, although their platform quick surveys, it does give brand the ability to access audiences, surveys and communities on demand, but also receive all their research needs with that fully customized digital consumer insights program. So I especially love how it's an entirely new way for businesses to obtain insights and understand that constantly shifting customer sentiment. But as always, what are your experiences in this field? And I know that there is somebody somewhere listening to this podcast in any corner of the world thinking, yes, Neil, but what about this? Well, if you're that person, it's your responsibility to get that valuable insight out of your head and send it out there in the universe for everyone to hear and learn from too. And of course, I will be the conduit to make that happen. So email me, techblogwriter at outlook.com, pop by my website, techblogwriter.co.uk, and you can find Neil C. Hughes on a variety of social channels too. So keep those messages coming in. And remember, we're on Pandora Radio too. So if that's your thing, have a listen there, subscribe, and let me know where you listen to this podcast if it's not Pandora. But we're out of time, I'm afraid. So all that's left is for me to say a huge thank you for listening. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Thanks for listening to the Tech Blog Writer Podcast. Until next time, remember, technology is best when it brings people together.